Hello all, this is Lizzie and so here we are. I thought I'd put on with a little bit of a treat for you all. Um, we've been getting another new deck. I thought I'd treat the channel to another new deck. This one's by Karen Keir and the artwork's by Ginger Kelly. The Oracle of the Fairies is our new deck. So I thought I'd pop here and do a quick recorded three card reading for you all. My way of saying, sorry I couldn't be with you last weekend, but I was ill. And I think I'm over with whatever it was. The migraines were terrible. And the indigestion that came along with them was just as bad. Even Milo didn't want to be around us for much of the indigestion. So as we get acquainted with this new deck, the Oracle of the Fairies, which is available on Amazon, we learn all about their different little foibles. I did use them at the weekend and they were telling me the same message over and over for all I shuffled them well and i put them back in different places within the deck and then shuffled them and shuffled them and just the same three cards kept coming out so i take because i need this those messages coming through so these are the final cards for the week we need a piece of solitude we need some healing there was a time when we all need to go within ourselves and have some solitude and some introspection. And we also need to listen to our bodies and hear them and as well. But we also need to look at our hidden death. So, you will hopefully agree with me that these cards are absolutely beautiful and solitude of being alone as meaning you were all one and in total harmony with everything the greatest treasures are those that wave silently during your quiet times and this little fair folk or fair lady is a beautiful she's not only got beautiful gossamer wings but she's got a beautiful beautiful gossamer train and a beautiful white dress which is almost translucent and she's got lovely little fireflies i think that are dancing all around her there we are the healing fairy is also holding a lot of rainbow from hand to hand and it is now time to make a gift of a safe healing everyone has a natural ability to heal others yes even me there we are our healing fairy all dressed in a very pale blue with a beautiful so this is for our week of hope and this is the this. Something is hidden. Something hidden is about to come to life. And have to keep it a memory from the back of your mind. When we expose what is hidden, we can come. We can become free. So this lady is about to expose things. Is this exposure from what is in the past? From certain celebrities? Or is this a certain royal about your experience? Let's have a look. This 
to UK law and international law. We are also subject to copyright legislation 106, uh, 1976 and subject to copyright of 107 as well. Right, we have garnished in ladies' mountains. You will be on sexual power and social needs. We have the Kingfisher and the Holy Cove and also around the ladies' mantle. And the garnish. Kingfishers are always around water, fast flowing water, fresh water. They're a fair fisherman. So somebody is on a fishing expedition. We also have the Supreme Dandelion. Clearing, compassionate, and surrender to the master. Dandelion is also a good healer. Not just to make them wishes on, but it's also a good healer. You can make a good coffee out of this diary as well. Third one is fully derived and draws to a willow herb. The willow herb, and what's the willow herb, can also be hallucinogenic. And it says acceleration to change and regeneration and shamanic wisdom. It does help you with if you're experiment to focus on your. Uh, to manage journey and to help you get into a deeper meditation. I wouldn't recommend it. And I say it's a hallucinogen and it, if it comes in the wrong hands, it can be very bad for you. So, I would just say it is. And it is also a very poison for everything. But one thing out of here is these monsters in their sexual power. And there's about to be something come out even more for about them. Will be a bit of regeneration. The royal family are about to embark on a real new journey. The working royals are about to expand it with past and coming back into the world. So the king's going to be really happy there. Luminous pastures. So it's time type of change that I would love to. When we go into our new time change, something will be in full store. If the clocks go back, October time, something will be back in October. So we still work in Royal. So 
the rainbow bridge connecting the port in summer. So customers definitely back. We also have Charles gonna have some good news as well. From Charles. And yes, I know he's on his way off to um, Australia. But there's also some good news coming for someone who is a channel regular. So just be watching that. So we do that. And I'd just like to say I'm absolutely over the moon for the family of Little Auckland in Canada. And as Auckland was found safe and well. And the crew that was out the interference with certain news pages we could be found very quickly. The secret called knowledge which is by an ancient wisdom. So some things are going to come out in the press regarding the certain royal. And also regarding these important cases. The key information will come out and the key missing person cases will be solved very, very soon. I say around October, November time. Especially with that other glass and the burning of the rainbow bridge. And the horizon stones with a new hope and wisdom. So we've got to talk in the around Japan and China. And we're going to take time to resolve a lot of issues. And around this time, there's going to be some tumultuous time with the weather out there. These talks that we're doing with the climate and how the climate has rapidly changed over the last few years. They believe there is weather manipulation going on. And they want to get to the bottom of it because they are bearing the brunt. And they're seeing their rice. Fields become overly flooded, which is happening real issue. We'll, we'll, we'll see issues with their rice production in the next few years. Um, in our world, there is going to be some significant snowfall back end of October, beginning of November, across the UK. Ireland. Hmm. Not close to our to as well. I don't know that we can come there. Right. Last three cards from this deck. I love that they take the sound from life. Um, we have the harvest part of two with the imbalance with the automatic one off. I also see this as a legal card as well, so there's some legal issues coming to position, coming to an end around the automatic one off. So, whoever is seeking legal guidance. Things like that. Just be aware that they will come to a positive conclusion around the time of the autumn you know. We also have this piece of the moon with the ocean deck. There's going to be more to come out around the I hope that exploded 
and the reasons why. There's also going to be more conclusive evidence coming out about the Beersium. You know, that's some in the of Italy. In Italy, the black box here will have, well, will hold all the key to that information. And we'll put it on slide. Effective freedom and aspirations. Somebody on that yacht had higher aspirations of grandeur, thought they could own everything. Unfortunately for them, they're going to find out the hard way that they will not own everything completely. It's still very much tied into the partnership. The the so here I've been wise until and I'll see you on the live in about 20 minutes. Bye.